Hello, I'm here with the power supply from um, Apple iMac mid 2010, 21 inches. Uh, this one is from AC Bell. The model is OT8043. And the Apple part number is 6140444. Okay, it is uh, 12 volts, 12 amps. And uh, the output is here. You can see pin 1 and pin 8, okay? So, we can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, okay? So, let's type on this paper OT 8043 pin 1 14 okay as you can see here pin 1 is on the bottom is this one so it is this one it is printed on this side also okay it's here pin 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 here again 9 10 11 12 13 14 first let's check the ground pins the ground is always grounded to the to the computer chassis okay With the multimeter, you can check from the chassis, this, that uh, fits with the bolt on the, the case of the computer. So, pin 1 is ground. Pin 2, we have about uh, 740 ohms, pin 3 is ground, pin 4, uh, sorry, 3, pin 4, it charged the uh, capacitor, is now about uh, 100 ohms. Pin 5 is ground, 6, nothing, 7, ground, 5 and 7 is ground, 5 is ground, 7 is ground, okay, 8 is ground, Nine is uh, seven hundred and forty ohms. Maybe it's the same of here. No, it is not. Eight, nine, ten, nothing. Eleven, nothing. Twelve, nothing. Thirteen, nothing. Fourteen, ground. Okay, now come close. I see this 
on this side are two MOSFETs. These uh, both are used to power on the high power 12 volts. Okay, I see the outputs are together. Okay, these are together, and I see this with this, with this, with this, all connected to the output of the MOSFETs. They act like a DC switch. So I assume this uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 are plus um, 12 volts. 8, 9, 10, tw uh, 11, 12, 13. Okay, what we don't know, pin 9, pin 2, pin 4 and pin 6. I see here this pin and this pin have a path through here. I think maybe it's the brightness section of the, the screen. Let's assume that pin 2 and pin 9, pin 2 and pin 9 is the brightness of the DC inverter for that powers the, the light on the screen. 2 and 9. 2 and 9. What we have? Pin 4 and pin 6. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. This 4 is a thick thread and comes to the input of the MOSFET. What I see here is pin 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Come here. Here, to the input, to the input of the MOSFET, this and this. Um, the drain of the MOSFET is pin 2, pin 3 is source and pin 1 is the gate. When the gate is enabled, uh, the MOSFET uh, uh, pass the current from the drain to the to the source okay so pin 4 connects here is a dose uh, is a 12 volt permanent i will call 12 volt p from permanent it powers uh, the standby section of the logical board what remains pin 2 6 and nine okay this is the input of the power supply of uh, uh, AC voltage I will connect pay attention when you do this because there are lethal voltages across this capacitor and on the rectifier the rectifier is here on this head sink on the bottom of the head sink, we have the rectifier, full wave rectifier here, that powers the big capacitor, this. So, pay attention when you do this. I will connect. Let me find the crocodile. is here so ground connection I will switch my multimeter to volts DC and now 
is power on. One, two, three, four. Pin four, 12 volts. Drain of MOSFET, 12 volts. Output of MOSFET, nothing. We have pin four, four here, 12 volts. Five is ground, six is uh, about five volts, is the same voltage that enables the high power output on uh, several power supplies. I will try to enable the power supply. Grounding pin six. So let me pick one cable. Pay attention when you put your hands. It's not working. So, zero volts, I will put this on uh, pin six, it's not enabling. I don't know if that part is grounded. Something is not working here. Okay, I can't use the chassis connection. I will just pick my tweezer. Zero on multimeter and I will uh, connect pin six with pin seven. Seven is ground. is working 12 volts it goes off now it goes on 12 volts okay what we have on the input of the MOSFET Sixteen, seventeen volts when I disconnect it goes down Okay, so that's it. This power supply is working good. I will try to figure out why the logic board does not power on. Thanks for watching. Any questions? If I can help, um, just comment this video and I will try 
to do my best to help you.